Oh boy. What do we have here? What is happening? There are a lot of ruins strewn about Pixark. The ruins hold both danger and treasure. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Hello, that was a dinosaur. Hello and welcome. We are diving into Pixark, which is this adorable voxel form of Ark mixed with pandas from what I could see off of the Steam Workshop page. And we are currently building ourselves a brand new map. Oh my gosh, here we go. <gasps> There's leaves. There's leaves. That is like all I need to know. There's leaves. Can I please be a lady? They oh the hair is so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. Hello and welcome to Pixar. This is basically from what I can see, uh, since I have hardly looked into it because I wanted to kind of dive into it blind and just have a ton of fun roaming around the world. This is a voxel, which is the kind of art style that you see here with the block sort of textures going on. Uh style of of Ark with some of the more like modern animals mixed in. I know that there's a panda that gives blessings and I have now exhausted the entirety of what I know to expect about this game because I very much wanted just to dive into it blind, start playing with you guys, start making a zoo. <laughs> Let's be real here guys. That's what we all know that we are here for. Leaves, plants, farming, gardening, exploring and making a zoo by taming animals including, as you might imagine, being able to tame some of the dinosaurs that roam around the world. I have seen people fly on dinosaurs. Oh, I guess there's only these three costumes. I have seen people uh, do all sorts of really cool things just in the screenshots, but I didn't want to spoil too much for myself. So enough about that rambling, and uh, I have to admire these leaves. I 1000% love these leaves. This is so cool. And let's see if we can get some nice brown hair. Oh, this is awesome. And you can have different little eyebrows. <laughs> you know, for being so simple, each of the different features really gives you like quite, here, oh, she looks like she's ready for adventure. Really gives you quite a different style of character. But yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and make our character first. She needs to have tons and tons of cool hair like me. Uh, cause that just seems like almost Adventure Tarzan. I feel like we're, we're like Siri Adventure Tarzan, or I guess we could be Azula from Avatar with that really awesome hair. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go with the really, really cool curly hair because this looks amazing and then what kind of eyes to go with oh there's even more features down here what oh that's so cool okay so what kind of eyes do you guys think really suit me hmm that kind of looks like brock's mom that's pretty funny uh let's see no no maybe something eyes wide open and ready for adventure and wonder maybe those ones huh that's a good question. Maybe this one? I do want to look like, yeah, let's go with this one because it makes me look kind of like I'm semi-competent, which is a complete lie, but we'll just run with that. And then you can do different facial features. I don't think I need to be doing my makeup. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Oh, this is cute. And that way she doesn't have to wear any, any kind of makeup. That's really adorable. All right, and let's see. Oh, there's jewelry, what? I could have some jewelry on. I can't see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you could really set out for all kinds of adventure. Look at some of this stuff. What? That's so ridiculous. I kind of want the eye patch, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see uh, and there's a whole bunch of like saved presets that you can do apparently we can name ourselves We're gonna be Siri. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor of what that makes me very curious All right, and you can what you can even change all right I'm gonna give myself a little bit more of a tan then to kind of go along with myself in person I love that I get to wear leaves that is fantastic uh, And really honestly, I feel like everything else is, is pretty good um, I mean, if I need to run from a whole bunch of, here, let's make the feet a little bigger, because I have pretty long feet, actually. <laughs> it's, it's one of the banes of my life. It's, 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 we'll go into that another day, but it makes it hard to find stuff, basically. And then hips, I guess we could, like, I, I feel like I need stronger legs. I wish I could make my legs, like, beefier, because if I'm going to be running from dinosaurs, I want to be made for running from dinosaurs, you know what I mean? Uh, and you can actually change, like, the length of the arms. What? 
That's so interesting. Okay, well, I think this is us. This is us, and she looks completely awesome, and I am 1,000% happy with whoever this little adventurer is going to be. So, it looks like over here we get to pick some different rallying points, and depending, oh, there's like a bunch of ocean? What? That's so cool. And I think depending on the colors, it looks like that guy is a skull who's going to kill us. And this guy is a happy little skull. He just looks curious. And I do love curiosity. So I guess if you're near any of the blue areas, so maybe this isn't ocean. This is just like hostility area. <laughs> <laughs> if we're near this blue area and the green area, then I think that's safer than being near the I'm going to eat your bones and make a bone throne out of them area. So uh, let's look for more areas with a bit more blue about them. Blue, green, I could probably handle a little bit of purple. Ooh, this looks really good. Rally point seven looks nice and peaceful if you ask me. And rally point eight is like right next to it. So let's go with uh, rally point seven. We have created our new Siri survivor. Apparently I could do some little like pom-pom magic back there against a dinosaur if I wanted to. <gasps> look at the cactus! Oh my gosh! Oh, look at me! Oh my gosh! That's adorable! I have a little parachute! <gasps> what are those? Is that water? That's water! Okay, I didn't land in the water. Oh my gosh, that's a mushroom. <gasps> you guys! This looks so cool. Okay, let's see if we can get started. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Okay, so that's like crouching around. Uh, and if I use E, okay, movement. Oh, there's something moving. I probably don't want to go straight over to it though because it'll probably eat me. Is that a bat? Are those mushrooms? <gasps> my friends, I do believe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, there's something over there too. I do believe we are in a brand new, beautiful world, ready to explore. I'm a little survivor. I had an adorable parachute. Uh, if I want to run, I do so. What if I want to eat this? Oh, I got azul berries and fiber. <gasps> what are you? Oh my gosh, it's a female patchy. A level nine female patchy. Wait, 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 don't eat me. Don't eat me. How do I interact with you? I don't want to punch you or anything. Whoa, what's trying to escape over there? Look at that. Okay, it wants me to crouch and wiggle around. Let's follow the female patchy. There's definitely something like in the water over there trying to escape. We're going to avoid that for a little while. Okay, and I want to pick up, oh, can I pick up this grass with E? Is that what you're telling me? Level two has been achieved. Uh, okay, access the inventory to apply points. <gasps> you guys, okay, so. Here we are. I am now apparently level two. All you needed to do was kind of crouch and stroll along the ground. Maybe it's like starting out like a baby. You gotta just crawl. You know what I mean? Okay. So our health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, how much weight we're carrying, damage, fortitude, crafting speed, normal speed. There's quite a bit going on. We have a specimen implant. What? Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay. A female named Siri, specimen, homo sapiens, epoch 74, intelligence, dexterity, adaptability. What? Have I been kidnapped? My new, my new thought is I've been kidnapped by aliens and put into an experimental world and I have been tagged like you tag a cat or a dog so that they can scan me and check in on me and see how I'm doing. That, that, that's, that's my next guess about what the heck is going on. All right. And then we have some fiber obtained from bushes. That's really cool. But why aren't my delicious azul berries, this blueberry green? Grows in mostly in dense jungles, tasty and can be used to make blue dye. Why aren't they showing up in my little list? Oh, and I can craft things. Okay, so if I find wooden flint, I can make torches. Uh, you know, getting an axe sounds like a good idea. Getting a wood stick. I want a good stick. I think I think that's where I'm going to start. Is get a good stick. Everybody needs a good stick to whack things with. Yay! Oh wait, uh, uh, access inventory. Okay, if I go prone. Oh, look at me. Okay, so I'm learning how to crawl. Female Patchy, I want to be your friend, but I'm only level two, so maybe I'm not strong enough. I've gathered up some... I'm gathering up some thatch, female Patchy. I wonder if this is going to add to my weight, though, so maybe... Oh, now I'm level three. All right, so I learned how to crawl. <gasps> look! Wow! I've learned how to jump. Look at that guy! This is so cool! You guys, we are in a brand new world of adventure. It's basically, from what I understand, like a sandbox game where you're just gonna- Ooh, stem berries, tinto berries, armor berries. Where you're going to run around, you're going to collect things, you need to build a home. You can learn how to do magic, you can tame things. Use a scanner on a dinosaur when empty-handed. <gasps> Patchy! Patch, come here! I'm gonna- I'm gonna go ahead and scan you. Okay. 
Apparently I have a scanner. I have to be level five to feed her. Well, wait, wait, wait. I want to use, okay. Oh, there we go. A normal creature, a wild female patchy who is passive. And it appears that she is a little bit fast. Hold still, female patchy. And she's in the novice grassland. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Thank you, patchy. Okay, so it looks like if I look around here, I have the little scanny do. Wow, maybe that's to compliment my intelligence. I don't know if I want to go near that guy. He's got teeth and there's somebody else running past him too. <gasps> I am clearly a researcher left alone in this area. Oh, there's a cactus. I want to go scan the cactus. And then I swear I'll open up my inventory and can I punch these dirt blocks? Do I need to punch a tree? I'm overheating? What? Because I'm over here and it won't let me scan the cactus. Okay, apparently I can overheat if I go over in the desert. I, I'm going to sit in the water for a second because maybe that'll help me feel better. Uh, and let's go ahead and open my inventory. So now I have a whole bunch of thatch used to burn things and it has a wide range of other uses. Tinto berry. I've got the Amar berry. It's tasty and can be used to make yellow dye. And let's see, make red dye. So then how do I level myself up? Let's find out. Oh dear, oh dear. There's a male, oh man, he's coming close. I don't know about this. He's wild, normal creature. He's tameable, he's level 31. I guess he was just coming down to the watering hole. Maybe sitting in the watering hole isn't a good idea. I'm like offering myself up like human soup. All right, so, oh, interesting. So this is the Ingram. And the Ingram, okay, I have, I hear something flying near me. I have 20 points. So I guess I gain points as we gain experience and fly around. Speaking of flying around, hi. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be careful about that. Oh, and we can change our view to up close or third person. I personally prefer third person. Hi. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand over here. Don't mind me. I gotta look at my little Ingram. I think it's the little thing that somebody has implanted into my wrist. So we have primitive skills that we can do, magic skills. We've got architecture, <gasps> bamboo, fireflies. I wanna catch fireflies and do cool things with them. Are you kidding me? That sounds awesome. All right, and then we have those primitive skills like making a torch, those are the things we know. Uh, oh, I can make a storage box if I use some of my skill points. So let's see, how do you tell your skill points? I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna start clicking on everything in just a second. First though, it wants me to open up the map. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, what a cute little hand-drawn map. This is, oh wow, this is adorable. So there's the deep ocean, which apparently I almost threw myself into. Thank goodness for my parachute. Novice grassland, grassland, mountain forest, swamp, desert, magic forest, golden realm, frozen lake, dark forest, doom lands. And there's daily rewards from hunting quest, crafting quest, creature taming quest, and exploring. What? Daily rewards? That sounds really cool. Who's giving them to me? I'm back to the aliens theory. It's always aliens. All right, and here's the quest manager. You haven't accepted a quest yet. Press the M key to open your map to see the location of quest mailboxes. Again, it's aliens. Once you've completed a quest, you need to return to the mailbox at which you've accepted the quest to submit it and get your reward chest. Once you've completed each of the quest types for the day, you can get a large reward chest. Interesting. All right, so now I need to go ahead and figure out where my quests are. How do I like, oh, I guess you have to like walk to them. Okay, so there's two quests available. They're both crafting quest. I think this may be, I don't know. This seems like a really subtle sign if you ask me. Could this possibly, this glowing light in the sky, it's pretty subtle. It might be trying to tell me something. <laughs> All right, let's gather up a few more berries. Might as well. I'm probably gonna need tons of food. I don't know how to tell if I'm hungry or not yet, but I think it's something to do with the stuff to the um, the stuff to the right of my screen. So I'm gonna go with the theory I've been kidnapped by aliens and thrown in here. Pretty much. Oh my gosh! Pretty much with nothing on me. <gasps> wow! Look at the sauropod. She's so pretty. And I have been, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> Look at her. This is amazing. I am totally in love. Please don't 
don't step on me. Please don't step on me. Okay, can I can I punch this? Oh my gosh, she's coming this way. Is she gonna step on me if I don't get out of here? I need this flint. Oh, she's turning. Okay, thank goodness. Can she like change the ground as she walks over it? Oh my goodness, is she coming here to eat? Whoa, look at her tail. I don't wanna get smacked. Oh, I almost got smacked by her tail. This is so cool. This is so, 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 so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's come over and grab grab some berries. Oh my gosh, run little guys. You're gonna get smushed. What even are you? What is she? All right, let's see. She's really big. She's level seven. She's tameable. She has tons of health and attack power, but doesn't move very fast. Whoops. Let's get away from that tail. What are you? This is a big eared rabbit. Very cute, frozen uh, land outering. Well, you're not from the frozen land, buddy, because this is, wow, that tail. <laughs> this isn't very frozen. All right, so it looks like, wow, look at those mushrooms. I wonder how I get down there safely. Probably by crafting a whole bunch of new things. So, all right, that thing's in the sky. I is that really what I'm supposed to be going for? I don't think it is. I think I'm supposed to maybe go for this? Huh. All right, I'm gonna turn around because I think that if I follow that, that just takes me over there. And it's not where the little quest box is. So I think I'm supposed to go this direction. The big-eared rabbit was kind of like giving me the once over there. Uh, but let's go ahead and look. Level up available. So let's go ahead and look at what I can level up for my little Ingram things. So, <sighs> I have 30 points now. And I guess you can use them to like make storage, to make cloth. Maybe a cloth hat would be good. Can I learn how to make a cloth hat? Is that possible? Okay, it only required two points. And now I have learned how to make a cloth hat or I own cloth hats. Uh, let's see. I think I know how to craft a cloth hat now. Yes, I do. Okay, so if we have fiber and thatching, I'm gonna craft a cloth hat. Okay. I want to equip this cloth hat. Gif. Oh! Look at that! <laughs> My hair kind of sticks through it, but I have a cloth hat. <gasps> Woo! Okay, okay. I need to move forward, not backward, please. Okay, there we go. Uh, and it looks like the female sauropod did indeed smush some things. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's dinosaur poop! <laughs> what? <laughs> She left behind dinosaur poop. I can collect dinosaur poop. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Uh, but all right. So I learned how to make a cloth hat. There's a triceratops. There's a triceratops. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Let's punch this tree. Can I even punch it? Okay. No, it just gave me a bunch of berries. I was hoping to get like some wood from it. Let's punch this block. I've got this. And I'm gaining more of those ingram points as I, as I learn how to master this landscape. I'm sure this is fine. In fact, I should probably learn how to make a pickaxe because if I recall, that was amongst the things that we could do. Uh, I need to make a wood axe. We can make a campfire for cooking meat, staying warm, providing light. Uh, let's see, I wanna, I, but I don't wanna eat meat. I wanna eat eating something else, but let's learn how to make a campfire because that sounds important. And now I want to know how to make baked long grass. Nice. Which actually I think the campfire has like everything to do with all of this. So I think we just unlocked like everything there, which is pretty cool. There's the rope ladders so that, an Apache saddle so I could tame my Apache. Oh my gosh, that would be so exciting. Uh, all right, well I have that. Maybe some gloves would be good to learn or maybe I should wait. Can I learn smelting yet? Or in industry skills, what? <laughs> I don't think I need to know guns, but lava armor sounds amazing. Oh, and a simple flashlight. That sounds pretty important too. And then there's magic skills. And I think you have to be like certain levels before you're allowed to play with these. Yeah, it won't even let me click on them. So I don't think we can do any of those yet. So let's go ahead and maybe learn the... Uh, that we can make a thatch ceiling, a thatch foundation, and a thatch wall. So I think we should go ahead. Let's learn the sleeping bag. And then let's learn the ceiling, the foundation, and the wall so that hopefully I'll know. And then I can't, I'm not high enough level. Oh no, my berries are spoiling. That's random. Well, it's not. They had timers, but still it feels kind of random. Yeah. All right. So, oh, and there's our tail again. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. All right. So I need to stay alive. I don't think I'm super duper hungry yet, so that's fine. 
Uh, what's this thing? Hey, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see what you are. Can I scan you? It just says grass cube, huh? All right, so that just gave me, oh my gosh! What is that? What are those? Oh my gosh, look how cool. What are these? What am I looking at here? Is that some sort of like parasitic plant that's gonna eat me? Oh, oh, that 100%. Oh, there's something shining over there. But down inside of this tiny ravine, surrounded by dragonflies and mushrooms, is what I'm pretty sure is a raptor. Oh, and is that a fortress ruin? What? This is so cool. Hang on a second. I need to make sure. Am I going the right direction? I am not going the right direction, but that sure enough looks like treasure. It looks like treasure that's awful close to some raptors. But I'm sure I wouldn't be here in this world, adventuring and exploring, if I uh, if I wasn't supposed to take some risks. All right, so if, oh, and we can have a drink. Okay, noted. Yeah, there's a male raptor right there, but I want this. What is this? What? What did I find? A turtle shell? Good to craft a shield. I will totally take that. Cool, I found treasure. It was a turtle shell. I'm drowning. It's all fine. I need to walk against the shore or else we're gonna fall in deep water. But I guess it wants me to take a drink. Am I in deep water? Okay, now I'm in deep water. Am I drinking? I hope I'm drinking. Okay, apparently I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you have to lightly drown Waltz. Do you uh, need a drink? That's fine. All right, and look at the male triceratops. Oh my gosh. And a female Garby. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a great time. There's gonna be so much zoo going on or so much research outpost, I should say, because I feel like something, something is up with this world. All right, well, let's see if I can find maybe up this point. Oh, is that it? I think, I don't know. Let's see if I can get close to whatever the crafting quest is supposed to be. Uh, oh, I think there's it. There it is. There it is. I'm pretty sure. And there's a tree over here. Can I punch this tree? Oh my gosh. Look, that Sarki is just like leaving all of the, the poo behind her. All right. Let me go ahead and punch this tree. Classic style. Got a bunch of wood. We'll shimmy out of the desert while we work over here. That looks like quicksand. Any of you guys who have been popping over with Dog Quest know how much we need to avoid the quicksand. Ugh, I'm not very good with the quicksand. All right, so it looks like the quest box I need to go to is next to this female sauropod. Do not step on me, please, ma'am. Oh, uh, no, and it's next to, it's next to a big scorpion. And look at this thing. Of course this is aliens. Okay, Manufacture Expert, difficulty level five. Uh, so this is a quest, plus uh, press control Q to open it, and we can figure out if we want to accept it. Oh no, 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 oh no. Save me, Phil Osarki, step on him. Step on him. Yeah, go, get him, get him. Can I lead him under her feet and get him smushed? Because this that would immediately make this whole, everything like 10 out of 10 Step on him female. You can do it. Step on him my girl Come on big girl. Oh dear. All right quest. Why? Okay, I think I accepted it. Let's run for it. I have to get away from whatever's chasing me Woo! Wee! Okay, we're playing jump rope with a Sarcosaurus tail or a Sarky tail. I'm just gonna call her big girl We're playing jump rope with big girl's tail and I'm being chased I need to learn how to make that spear I think and I think that like night is beginning to fall if I am not incorrect about that. Oh My gosh, he's still chasing me <laughs> Okay Maybe he can't follow me in the water. Also, is that a sauropod? I'm sorry that I keep calling him all sorts of random things. I'm just like rambling to myself. Is that her? Did she fall in the hole? How do you get one out of the hole? Is she gonna is she gonna solve this problem on her own? Oh my gosh, dear, you're stuck. You're literally stuck. I don't know how to help you here. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like that guy finally stopped following us. All right. Well guys, let's figure out what's up. I need to learn how to make a spear pretty soon. 
For now, let's learn how to make Apache saddle, some carpet, a door, and we're gonna save up our points so that hopefully I will be able to get myself a spear coming up in the future, cause we were, we were looking a little bit dubious at first. Let's go ahead and actually, I need to craft this stick. <laughs> May I please, I'm gonna craft this stick right now so that I will have myself a primitive wooden stick ready to go. I need, where's my, where's my, where's my wooden stick? Hello, I just crafted it. Uh oh, and it's getting dark. <laughs> Where did my stick go? I need my stick, I thought I crafted it. Yes, there we go. Oh, there, no, that was a torch. I wanted my stick so that I could equip it. So we'll come over here. Oh, I see, all right. And so all I have to do, I'm holding my stick and I can give that scorpion a good smack next time he tries to mess with me. But right now, night is falling, my friends, and it appears my my friend, the sauropod, is pretty darn stuck. If I can tame her, can I get her out of this mess? And there is a male something swooping over my head. Let's pop over here. You know what? This looks like a fantastic spot. Oh, there's even a ruin over there. What? Okay. That looks like it might be a fantastic spot to possibly, to possibly call home. But guess what? We're, we're out of time because the sun is setting. <laughs> the sun is setting and I should probably be uh, slightly nervous about that. And I don't have enough wood or enough flint to be able to make myself uh, a, a very viable home. <laughs> so let's see. Come on, tree. Come on. Let's get at least a cooking campfire down. Okay, I think I need my hands to be empty. And if they aren't empty, then I am not able. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. Now I'm punching it. So your hands need to be empty and then you can punch it. And you can just drop torches randomly. Uh, and I need to find more flint. Okay. All right. I can't see. It's so, whoa. <laughs> it's getting so dark. Okay, here's, I think this is some flint again. Maybe. Let's come and give it a few good punches. I really just need to make myself a pickaxe and an axe, to be completely honest. But right now, we're going to just punch this with our hands. And then I'm going to make myself a little campfire. So let's see if I can just craft this puppy up. Fantastic. Let's go back to my, my newly chosen spot. Right over here. I think there's a little dodo. Oh, it's a little dodo bird. I just saw. All right, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna crawl in here, put this down. Uh, let's go ahead, can I light this? How do you, how do you just like fuel it? Do I grab some wood and fuel it? And then light the fire? <gasps> That's so cool, I have to light my little fire. Okay, well guys, I think that this has been quite the eventful day. I have been chased by scorpions. I've played jump rope with sauropod tails. There she is. I'm sorry, big girl, we'll try to figure out how to help you. I probably need at least a pickaxe to start with. <laughs> And it looks like there are ruins. There also happen to be a whole bunch of quests just waiting for us. Learn to craft each type of weapon and tool to increase our chance of survival. A crossbow is a great range weapon to have one. Why don't you craft one? That sounds like it would be a lot of work. That's why. I just literally learned how to punch dirt with my hands. And there's somebody with gigantic fangs in the distance. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my little stick. I'm going to give anybody who tries to come eat me a good whack, and then we will continue on exploring, questing, and trying to figure out what we shall do here as wandering researchers of this brand new world next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.